Hello and welcome amigos. Today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious zucchini casserole. For your zucchini casserole, you're going to need two to three zucchinis and you want to slice your zucchinis into the way that you know your family is going to eat them. For us, it's just going to be into smaller little pieces. One bag of frozen corn, two to three cups of your favorite rice. For your sauce, you're going to need one and a half cups of water, three ripe tomatoes, two garlic cloves, one fourth of an onion, two tablespoons of chicken bouillon, and one tablespoon of Mexican oregano. And to top off our casserole, we're gonna use a little bit of panko crumbs. You're gonna need a little bit of butter and some cheese. And now we're gonna blend all of our sauce ingredients. That includes our onion, garlic, tomatoes, chicken bouillon, Mexican oregano, water. And you just wanna blend it until smooth. And boom, done, amigos. Place a little bit of olive oil at the bottom of your tray. Add your rice. And I've made this with Mexican rice, white rice. It tastes equally as good with all of them. But your favorite is with white rice? Yes. Well, my favorite is with Calrose rice. Yummy. <laughs> you know I always have to make you choose your favorites. Yes, yes. The Views Club or their parents, just kidding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Next, you're gonna add your zucchinis. Your corn. And I like using frozen corn because it's super easy, but you can use fresh or canned corn for this recipe. Add your sauce. And if for some reason you don't have any fresh tomatoes on hand at the moment, guess what? You can use a can of tomatoes. I think an eight ounce can should work for this. I'm so happy that everybody asked me for more veggie recipes. Our family loves vegetables. We Every, are vegetable lovers. Everyone except for my punky. He kind of has a difficult time and that's why when I use the panko or the cheese on it, it makes it a lot easier for him to enjoy. That's a good tip. Mm-hmm. And he's not a picky eater. It's just a sensory situation, right? Yeah. SPD. Shout out to all my SPD parents out there. We're getting it done. <laughs> These kids will eat. These kids, like if they're strangers, my babies. <laughs> my sweet angels. <laughs> in, case, gentlemen. in case they're watching this, they don't hear mom say my angels. And add your favorite cheese blend or you can skip it. It's going to be up to you. Mozzarella works great with this particular recipe because mozzarella tastes great with zucchinis. But I have a lot of Mexican cheese blend to get through. And our family never complains about this one. To about half a cup of your panko crumbs, you're going to add uh, two to three tablespoons of melted butter. If you don't have access to panko crumbs, you can use uh, breadcrumbs, but those do burn a lot faster. So just be careful with that part. And what do I mean by that? I mean that you're gonna have to put a foil over your casserole. Um, and sometimes I've heard some of our friends that they use uh, Ritz crackers over the top. At this point, get some saltines. <laughs> All of that will work for this recipe. Remember to always make it comfortable for your home. And now you're gonna sprinkle your panko crumbs right over the top. My kids love that crispy bite, and then you got the cheesiness on the bottom. We've been doing this for a very long time, friends. And let me tell you, you can't fail. You can't fail with this particular step. And now it's time to bake your casserole at 380 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes. What I like to do is I like to bake my casserole using a parchment paper or a foil over the top and then I remove it the last five to 10 minutes just to make sure that my panko's nice and crispy and my cheese is melted. And boom done amigos, who's ready for a bite? I'm gonna need somebody very special to say uh Buen provecho. Thank you. Before I take this bite, I wanna tell you guys that it smells so good in the house. It almost smells like baked pizza. The other thing that I wanna share with you guys is that make sure to slice your zucchinis a little bit thinner than you would. I know you guys want a big bite from your zucchinis, but thinner is gonna cook a lot better in your oven and make sure to preheat your oven for a minimum of 30 minutes before you place it to bake. Mmm, so good. Look at that. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> the new potpourri is the zucchini casserole in here. It really is. It's so good. I really do love the cheese in here, and I love the crispy panko on the top, but the rice and the combination all together is just absolutely perfect. It works, friends. It works. So whether you have leftover Mexican rice, you have some white rice laying around, you know, you don't know what to make, this is a perfect dish, and it's pretty healthy. It sure is. Mm. Ooh, that was hot. <laughs> I know what this reminds me of. Mm. Of what? The Pride and Prejudice potatoes. Exquisite or beautiful? No. <laughs> They're what? They're what? Come on, you know it. I don't remember. <laughs> Exemplary. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted you to say it. Mmm, <laughs> so good. I really love how the juices from the zucchini and the tomato sauce that we made in here seep into the rice gently, not to make it soggy, but to keep it like juicy. I don't know how to explain it. You guys make this dish and then let me know how much you guys loved it and what you thought because I think this is gonna be a repeat offender for us. Mm. As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. Make sure to subscribe, comment, and like it on that one. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Adios!